For this example, we have a, a module with uh, three functions. The first function is called FIBO, which returns the nth element of the Fibonacci number. So we have three and it will return the third element of the Fibonacci series. The second function is called Fibonacci, which will return the whole series, the first three element of the, uh, the, the series, so it's like a, an array reference. And the third one is actually from some other place, totally different place, which is called fetch data from bug tracking system, that will return a key value pairs of some information, which we put in a hash, and then we have to check whether that hash works well. So we use the, the diag function that explain to see what uh, the results are, and as you can see, the first one returned a scalar, the second an array reference, and the third uh, reference to, is already a reference to a hash once I put there in a, in a hash. So the question, how can we test it? The first one is pretty easy. We have already learned how to compare a scalar value with an expected uh, value using the is function. We just call the function uh, several times. When we run the script, you can use prove minus v to uh, in verbose mode to be in verbose mode. It will print out the first four were successful, and the fifth had some issue. Uh, apparently, the, the module is incorrectly co uh, computing the, the Fibonacci series. The, other, the second uh, function, the Fibonacci function, is a bit more complex, and that's where we are learning something new here. The isDeeply function uh, would get two uh, parameters, actually a third one and a name. The first one is a, is a result, is a reference to a data structure, an array reference here. And the second is the expected array reference. So we just have to put there the calculate uh, upfront the Fibonacci series and put, there, put it there as the expected array reference. When you run this script, you can see that here too the first four elements are okay. And then in the fifth element, in the fifth test, uh, it, it points out which element of the array reference is uh, referring. So it, uh, it got uh, four instead of two at the second or the third element of the, the array reference. The third function, uh, the fetch data from the uh, bug tracking system, for that we created a hash which is the expected hash, and then we call the function several times with different parameters, so it will return different results. And then we use isDeeply and provide it a reference to the actual hash and the expected hash. So backslash uh, and ampersand and the name of the hash. If you run this script now, it will show the first case was correct, so apparently in that case the result was the, the same result as expected. In the second case, you can see that uh, we ex there was a key called errors that we expected a value 6, but we received a value 9. So it notices that the value is different. And in the third case, it says that we were expecting a field errors with a value 6, but the resulting data didn't even have a, a, a key called errors. So it can find uh, either way uh, what the problem is.